Am I losing my mind? Hey guys, I have partnered up with Red Wolf Collectibles, maker of incredible comic book display options, including this outstanding, heavy-duty, and well-made slab stand featuring an anti-slip pad and all the accessories needed to display your most prized slab comic books, just like this one here in my collection. And now they even have interchangeable 3D design plates that feature really strong magnets that let you easily swap out logos to match your comic books, slabs, or whatever superhero you want to feature in your display in an absolutely incredible way. And these are just some of the plates available for purchase from DC, Marvel, and much, much more. I mean, look at all of the options here. You can even have your own custom logo made. And they also offer magnetized comic book frames. You simply remove the front, place your comic book inside, and place the magnetized cover back on. It's that simple, yet it looks absolutely amazing and even features a built-in hook so you can display it on the wall. I mean, look how awesome this looks. Now, if you don't have a slab, you can also purchase their protective comic book cases, which feature high-quality metal corners and screws, and you can also pair this up with the display stands to give it that amazing slab look. Now, all of these are absolutely incredible, and make sure you use code STATUE at checkout for a discount at redwolfcollectibles.com. I'm so happy to be partnering with them because their products are absolutely amazing. Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman, Statue Collector, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles and Am I Crazy? Like I said at the beginning, am I crazy? I've had a lot of ups and downs here in the last couple of months with this collection because the collection room is finally done, and now I've got all of these amazing pieces in this gallery, but obviously some of you have pointed out that I've been a little bit scatterbrained, and maybe I am. Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'm going loco. Maybe it's the statue paint fumes in this room mixed with the uh, the lacquer that I used on the, uh, the shelving. But yeah, I think I am going a little crazy. I'm going a little, little stir crazy. Maybe there's statues that I want in that I'm not getting, and so I'm like, I'm thirsty for more statues, right? I have that hunger, that passion for new stuff. And this kind of all started recently with some buying and reselling and buying and reselling that I've done. And it started with the Poison Ivy Husher that I'm looking at over there. If you guys watched the recent video, you know that I sold my green Poison Ivy because I got the flesh color Poison Ivy in from Prime One. As soon as I sold her, I regretted it. I bought the green one back. And now I'm going to be selling the flesh color. And I know you said, Chris, you said you were going to wait on it for a while. I don't need two Ivies. Some of you suggested I move it across the room. I, I just don't need two. Are they both beautiful? Yes, I'm looking at both of them. But at the end of the day, I'm sticking with the green one. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Am I crazy? Probably. But I like that one and I don't need two. So I'm selling the flesh color Ivy if anybody's interested, okay? Then another piece, okay? Another piece that I've been debating about for a while is uh, the Vamprilla from Prime One Studio. I saw her in San Diego. I loved her. But everybody's like, Chris, she doesn't fit the collection. You shouldn't get it. It's stupid. Okay. So yes, I listened to that. Um, and that's okay. That's okay to listen. I, I like the feedback. Um, so I canceled it. I canceled my pre-order. I lost the deposit at Prime One. Okay. Stupid, right? Well, then I saw some in hand. People kept encouraging me to get it. And so guess what? Suddenly, this week, my wait list converted at Sideshow. So I'm like, crap, what do I do here? What do I do? Do I go ahead and get it or do I not? And guess what? I ordered her from Sideshow, so I'm getting Vamprilla. Now, some of you are going to say, Chris, it's stupid because it's just a piece that you're going to buy and you're going to have it for six months and then you're going to sell it. That might be, but guess what? It's my collection, so if I want to sell it, I can, right? I look at this gallery as a museum, I've said it for years that sometimes pieces are going to come in, some pieces are going to go out, okay? And a majority, though, of my collection, like this guy, a majority of the collection is going to stay, and it always will be. But I'm somebody that always wants to get new pieces in, not only for this channel, because, you know, some of you have pointed out that, you know, maybe that's what's causing all this stress is because the the constant need for content, the constant need for um, you know new pieces in and out. And that is true to a certain extent. But if you guys look at my collection, you guys know that most of the pieces in here have been in here for quite a long time. All the third scales, most of the quarter scales 
have been here for a long time. Now there's sometimes where I've got new ones in, sold the old ones, like this is an example, I bought her back. Because I got the new one in, it was a shiny new toy, sold this one, and at the end of the day I like this one better. So I bought her back and sold the other one. Let somebody else have the joy of getting a new piece in, right? So with Vamprilla, yes, there's a chance that I'm going to sell her down the road. I'm um, actually, the reason I like her so much, even though she doesn't fit the collection necessarily, is that I, I feel like she's a placeholder for me for Talia Al Ghul. Um, I don't know if a company will make a full size third scale of her. Uh, I know um, Tweeterheads maybe teased a bust and maybe like Legendary Beast might do her, but that might be two or three years down the road. So I'm going to enjoy Vamprilla, whether you guys like it or not. I'm going to enjoy her and I'm going to enjoy her for the time that I have with her, right? And then down the road, maybe I'll sell her. And that's okay, because again, I'm an adult ass collector, right? <laughs> I can do what I want with my collection, and that's okay. And But more than anything, I do still appreciate your feedback. I appreciate you letting me know, because again, I feel very unsure at times, because I do want this collection to be amazing. I want you guys to enjoy the collection as well, because I don't feel like it's just my collection. I feel like it's also yours. And so I get it when somebody says, Chris, it's dumb to get it. But I do want to enjoy her for a while, so I'm going to. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So this you're going to see again. That you're going to think I'm absolutely insane, guys. Okay. So what's the one thing that I always buy and sell on the channel? I'm going to wait because I know there, there's some there's some legendary collectors out there that have watched this channel for seven years, and God bless you guys. Thank you very much. Um, you're going to know exactly what pieces I'm talking about. I'll wait for it. I'll wait. I'm going to go over here. I'll wait. All right. Did you come up with it? <laughs> heroes, right? The heroes. So I got a message today from our, my good friend who, um, yeah, he's selling a couple pieces. And he said, hey, Chris, I've got a Hush Nightwing and a Hush Huntress. Now, <laughs> Oh, crazy. I'm going crazy because I bought Hunch, Hush Huntress twice already. I bought her twice and sold her twice. This would be a third time. Prime One Studio Third Scale Hush Huntress. I've never had Nightwing. I want him. And the reason why I'm kind of thinking about these two are because I'm looking at my Hush line over here. I got Joker. I've got the Green Ivy back. I've got my blue Batcave Batman. Joker Say Cheese. I love Hush. Should I go and get a couple of the heroes? I'm thinking about putting them down below, you know, down kind of in this spot right over here. Um, just, you know, they wouldn't be the focal point, but is it okay now that I've got all this extra space to have some heroes? Now, at the end of the day, would they be the first ones I sell down the road? Probably. Because, I know, like Legendary Beast, they're going to be making all the villains that I want, Clayface in third scale, Ra's al Ghul, and I don't have unlimited funds, so if I needed to sell certain pieces to fund those, I would. But again, those pieces are not going to be here for two or three years, at least. So do I just leave that space empty waiting for them to come, or do I fill it with something, enjoy it for a while, like the Vamprilla piece, and then move on and let somebody else enjoy it? If I lose money in the process, I feel like a lot of times that's okay because I've gotten some joy out of it. Uh, you know, I don't know what you guys buy out there that you make a ton of money on, whether it's a car or a house, you know, whatever it might be. Um, but when you're talking about collectibles, I feel like you use them for a while and you enjoy them for a while and then you move on. Um, nothing in this life is permanent. You know, we're not taking any of this stuff with us in the long run, right? So is it okay to enjoy a night week for a while? Yes. Is it okay to enjoy a Huntress for the third freaking time? Uh, I think it's okay. But I'm going to ask your opinion again. What do you guys think? Should I get those two pieces? Should I add those to the collection and enjoy them for a while? Yes, I know. Again, I know I'm not going to make a ton of money when I sell them. And I know it's a giant hassle to go get four boxes and box them up and sell them. It's a hassle, but you only live once, right? 
And so that's kind of where I'm at with my collection. Yes, I've always been the guy that has rules. I've always been the guy that has clarity on what he wants for his collection. But right now in 2023, going into 2024, I don't. Right now, this is a brand new space with brand new opportunities. And maybe you're feeling the same thing. Maybe you're feeling that same stress of not knowing which pieces to get or saving enough money to get certain pieces or worried about this and that. At least I know that I'm not alone <laughs> because sometimes I feel that way. Sometimes I feel like I am the only crazy one and maybe I am, but I know I'm not. I know there's a lot of crazy collectors out there and thank God for you guys. Um, Cause at least we're all in this boat together, right? We overthink it. We over analyze, we over Photoshop where our pieces are going to go. So anyway, yeah, I've got Vampirilla coming. Yeah. I might have a couple of heroes going. And if I get heroes, if I get um, Hush Huntress and I get um, the Nightwing, I've also been considering getting Zatanna from Prime 1 because I like her. Should I get some of those pieces and enjoy them for a while? Or, should, I mean, and again, I know you're going to say, you're going to say you're going to sell them anyway. Maybe. Maybe I will. Who cares? If I enjoy them for a while, that's great, right? Nothing has to be permanent in your collection. Enjoy it. And then move on if you're not enjoying it anymore. Like this guy, this guy probably will never leave. I love him. But there are certain pieces of my collection that I could see let go. Um, just like I've let go some of the Arkham line again. I enjoyed them again for a while. I'm keeping some, selling some, Samurai line, keeping some, selling some. Because I want to always keep the collection fresh. I don't want to come in here and feel stagnant. I don't want to come in here and be like, I don't look at anything in here except for maybe two or three statues. I want to come in here and look at all these statues, enjoy them. And you know, this is, this is my happy place, right? So I'm going to let you all analyze my cabeza there for a while, my head. And, uh, am I crazy? <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. Uh, or do you think I'm okay? Do you think I'm spot on with, with, you know, just kind of trying to live in the moment now? Um, anyway, let me know your thoughts. Uh, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to read some of them. Uh, so be kind. Uh, but uh, anyway, let me know what you think. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.